So today we are doing a bookshelf tour. I'm gonna to take you through all the books on my shelves. I usually try to do this once a year to update it because as I get more books, things move around, but I didn't at the beginning of this year because these videos are a bugger to make. However, we are doing it now. I really don't have any exciting organization to do with my shelves. I just put things where I think they look nice and then I move them around a lot as new books come in because I, feel like it. There's no, really no organization at all. So this shelf is all fantasy and a little bit of sci-fi. We have Fires of Vengeance and Rage of Dragons, which I realize now are out of order. The Bone Shard Daughter and the Bone Shard Emperor, still waiting on book three. Lies of Loch Lamora, Red Seas Under Red Skies, and The Republic of Thieves. This is my favorite series. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the Restaurant at the End of the Universe, Life, the Universe, and Everything, So Long and Thanks for All the Fish, and Mostly Harmless. This series is my latest obsession. Memories of Ice and Dead House Gates, which I'm now realizing are also out of order. Unfortunately, book one in Malazan, Gardens of the Moon, was destroyed in the flood. The Name of the Wind, The Wise Man's Fear, still waiting on book three for that one too. These are all classics that I love, starting with Daphne du Maurier, one of my favorite authors, The Scapegoat, The House on the Strand, My Cousin Rachel, Jamaica Inn, Frenchman's Creek, and Rebecca. These are my Jane Austens, Stanton, Northanger Abbey, Emma, Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, Persuasion, and Mansfield Park. This is my Little Women series. We have Little Women, Good Wives, Little Men, and Joe's Boys. Of course, we have Peter Pan here, which is my favorite standalone book, as well as another copy of Peter Pan, The Little Mermaid, and Beauty and the Beast. This shelf is Lord of the Rings plus literary fiction and also some nonfiction. That is what it is. Letters from Father Christmas, The Hobbit, The Lord of the Rings, The Silmarillion, A Dictionary of Tolkien, An Atlas of Tolkien, and Every Morning the Way Home Gets Longer and Longer, The Deal of a Lifetime, Beartown, us Against You, A Man Called Ove, Things My Son Needs to Know About the World, Anxious People, My Dark Vanessa, The Vanishing Half, She Came to Slay, Big Panda and Tiny Dragon, The Boy, the Mole, the Fox, and the Horse, and The Girl with Seven Names. Here we have a shelf of mostly nautical books, but not entirely. I don't know why. Pirate Latitudes, Son of Storm, The Blade Itself, Before They Are Hanged, and Last Argument of Kings, Best Served Cold, The Heroes, Red Country, The Bone Ships, The Mask of Mirrors, and One Piece. I've ordered a lot more of these, but they're back ordered and I don't know when they're gonna come in. This is my Brandon Sanderson shelf, Alloy of Law, Shadow of Self, and The Bands of Mourning. Really excited for the fourth book. Mistborn, The Well of Ascension, The Hero of Ages, Elantris, Steelheart, I didn't finish this series and I don't think I will. The leather bound copy of Mistborn, Skyward, Starsight, Cytonic, looking forward to the fourth in this series as well. The Way of Kings, Words of Radiance, Oathbringer, and Rhythm of War, looking forward to the fifth in this series, of course. About half of this shelf is sci-fi and the other half is, I don't know, some other things. This is my Sherlock Holmes box set. I have A Study in Scarlet, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, The Hound of Bakervilles and the Valley of Fear, The Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes, the Return of Sherlock Holmes, and His Last Bow, On Stranger Tides, Pet Cemetery, Firestarter, Timeline, Wild Seed, A Psalm for the Wild Built, The Humans, The Midnight Library, Dune, Children of Time, Jurassic Park, Down Among the Sticks and Bones, This is How You Lose the Time War. This is mostly a manga shelf, but we'll kick it off with books that just wouldn't fit on any other shelf. The Sleeper and the Spindle, Snow Glass Apples, all the Hunter Hunter books that I have in physical form, Uzumaki, Tomie, Mermaid Saga 1 and 2, the entire Spy Family set, and Unsold, Soulsmith, and Black Flame. These really don't belong here, but what can you do? This is another fantasy shelf. We have Legendborn, Foundryside, The Last Quintista, Nevermore, The Ocean at the End of the Lane, The Sword of Kaigen, The Ember Blade, an Unkindness of Magicians, A Natural History of Dragons, The Tropic of Serpents, and I have read the next two in the series as well and loved them, but I don't own them physically. I listen to them on audio. Ship of Magic, which should be in the nautical shelf. 
Nevermore, Wondersmith, Kings of the Wild, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters, Percy Jackson and the Titan's Curse, Percy Jackson, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian, Daughters of Henri, Ray Bearer, Theft of Swords, and A History of Wild Places. And finally, we have a shelf of classics. We have Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales, I Capture the Castle, North and South, Winnie the Pooh. I have two copies of the first Winnie the Pooh. Then I have The House at Pooh Corner, When We Were Very Young, and Now We Are Six, The Posthumous Memoirs of Bras Kubas, Mary Poppins in the Park, Julia's Wolf Pack, To Kill a Mockingbird, Tess of D'Ubervilles, I still think I say that wrong, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, The Turn of the Screw, Lord of the Flies, The Little Prince, The Giver, Gathering Blue, Messenger, and Son, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, The Great Gatsby, Frankenstein, Treasure Island, Little Women, The Count of Monte Cristo, one of my favorites, Anne of Green Gables, We Have Always Lived in the Castle, The Essential Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe, The Secret Garden, Alice in Wonderland, The Haunting of Hill House, The Woman in Black, The Outsiders, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, The Picture of Dorian Gray. On top of my bookshelves, I have my Avatar graphic novels, my Wheel of Time series, the Harry Potter illustrated books, and the regular Harry Potter books. And my lower shelves you don't actually see in videos, so I'm just going to show you a quick look at all three of them and not go through them all because, you know, do you need it? Anyway, those are all of my shelves going through them one by one at this point. As I continue to get more books, they will be reorganized again. Thank you to Corey for filming all this so that I didn't have to. So there you go, there is a tour of the books on this shelf. I have more shelves upstairs, but you don't see those in filming, so it's probably fine that I just stop now. I hope you enjoy it. Feel free to chat with me in the comments about whatever you feel like it. I post videos every Monday, Tuesday, nope, I don't. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here. Thursday's on the other channel, which is linked down in the description, and I'm gonna be posting on Tuesdays over there soon too.